chapter 3, The Day of Memories. I want to talk with Cory, but... There's no school today. Oh, oh wait a minute. Alright, so apparently my headset was not plugged in correctly. Alright, that's one way to begin a video. Hey, Ethan, what's on your mind? Oh, um, nothing. You're hiding something from me, hmm? Uh, of course not. Because you know I'll find down eventually. Uh, I know. Or is. I know he means well, but he can be a little rough around the edges. Girls will frog him if he only toned down his eyes a little. What, you psychoanalyzing me? Get out of my head, man! What the heck? Why not ask him for advice? Listen, Maurice. Yeah? What do you want? I know you're here to study, but can I ask you something? Yes, I can spare a second or two. You know my parents went missing, right? Of course I do. Now, this is going to sound crazy, but hear me out, okay? That depends. Well, until a few days ago, my mom and dad were still around. Quiet over there. This is a library. Sorry, we'll be good. Keep it down, will ya? So, then what? And then, a few days ago, suddenly everything uh, was as though my folks have been gone for years. They still like that, and I still want to know why this is happening. It surely worked out, I know, but it's true, all of it. It's no dream, and I'm not crazy. You know what I think? Oh no, here it comes. I think you're talking about parallel worlds. Parallel worlds? There used to be a book in our secret hideout, The Mystery of Parallel Worlds. Now that he mentions it, someone put it in our hideout to close up the place. I've never read it. In fact, I don't think anyone's read it, besides Maurice. Basically, your, situations, your situation is right out of the book. Huh? Why don't you go looking for it? Find yourself some answers. Look, I've wasted enough time on your petty little problems. Mo Maurice? Well, there goes the sound. Yeah, I'm at the library. I'm studying, what else? Did you even have to ask? If you want results, all I have to do is apply myself and those grades are in the bag. Who's he talking to? His parents? Right now I'm wasting prime studying time talking to you. Hey Ethan. Yeah? This is gonna take a while. I'll be right back. Sure thing. Not sure he wanted me to hear that conversation anyway. Let's see, maybe I should look for that parallel world book. Nah, it can't be bothered. I'd like to talk with Maurice so I can't go home just yet. I think I'll get some fresh air myself. Did I see some kind of a dick shop on my way here? I think it was called Eon? Maybe I'll go check it out. Sorry about that, it's all taken care of. Oh, you're all set? Yeah, don't worry about it. My folks are just getting on my nerves, that's all. Alright, glad to hear that it isn't anything major. Phone buzzing. Yeah, I put it on silent mode. Shame on you. you. We missed that great ringtone. It's Vin. What does he want? Ethan, get over to Kronos. But Ben's murdered someone. Hurry! What? Ben? Got it. I'll be right there. What is it? Well, Ben killed someone. 
What? Silence! I'm here for Kronos. Are you coming? Do you have to ask? An ambulance. Was there really murder here? Something's up. I can feel it. Alright, so now that I have some time to breathe. Yes, I said hello, I'm Darth Leon, and this is Let's Play Time Hollow. In the last episode, we saved Olivia and Jacob and Lucky. And in this episode, well... He started it. Alright, alright, calm down. Oh, is that blood? Look, Ben got blood on his hands. He's right. Is this a murder scene? Huh? What's Jacob doing here? Has he gotten caught up in some kind of trouble again? Okay, Ben, sit right there and tell us your side of the story. Alright, so this is where things get kinda complicated, so try to follow as best as you can and let's see if I can remember things right. I'm not the bad guy here. Alright, what happened here? It, it wasn't my fault. I just want to go to Kronos and that's all. Alright, so he says the exact same thing. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. So the reality where Adam was speaking with Jacob has been erased. Yes, that means the Jacob that knows me is gone too? Gah, my brain hurts. I'll just introduce myself. Again. I'm Ethan Keros, but call me Ethan. I'm Vin, and this guy with the glasses is Ben. Maurice. I'm Jacob Eleven. You can just call me Jacob. Alright, so... Uh-huh. What were you doing here? I was taking a walk with Lucky. Lucky? Going by the name, I'd say Lucky is a dog. Uh-huh, my dog. Alright, anything more to add? Who started it? That boy in the glass is so lucky and got really mad. Hey, that one do that dog went after me. Alright. Okay, I guess he, he says the facts and things. Hmm? Did you see what happened? Well, I didn't see the actual moment it happened or anything. He was already flat out when I got here, and at first I thought he was dead. But no, Aaron is still breathing. Breathing? Breathing. But yeah, that's, that's the right way to say this word, right? Breath. Ah, fuck it. They just took him out of here. So Aaron, if you remember, is Olivia's new boyfriend from last time. Oh, alright, so you will explain it. Olivia's boyfriend, he was already at Kronos when we got here. What? Did Ben kill somebody? I still can't decide. I mean, they haven't found the weapon. What weapon did this? With all this blood, I'd have to say a knife or something else with a sharp blade. Alright, so... Uh-huh. What's Lucky now? Lucky is not used to being, you know, being yelled at. He got scared and ran away. Alright, so let's see, have I talked to a room about everything? Alright, we, we've turned around us. I'm not the bad guy here. Why Aaron? Well, 
He just came out of the cafe and then after the boy with the glasses hit Lucky, I thought he was gonna hit me. But the end but then the other boy saved me. That's when they started arguing. You you don't know what you're talking about. Did you have a knife? I I don't know anything about that, you hear me? Damn it. Everyone's getting up on me. But I I didn't do anything. Alright, so let's keep passing around. No. You don't have anything new to say. What do you think about it, alright? This is it? Well, it pretty much adds up, doesn't it? At least going by what Jacob says. Ben, you said you hated Darren, right? Well, with him being Olivia's boyfriend and all. Stop it! That has nothing to do with this! No. Am I allowed to leave? No. No. Not yet. No, you don't have anything new to say. I guess I have to talk with Maurice. Now what? I don't know. Seems like they don't need us at all here. How about we leave Ben with Vin and go looking for Lucky? Vin, is Aaron in the hospital now? Yeah, the ambulance just took him. Olivia's with him. So if there's any news, they'd be getting in touch with Hronos. We'll go look for Lucky. Vin, you take care of Ben. Yeah, I've got him under control. I wanna go too. Now, Jacob, you stay here. Someone else might want to ask you about what you saw. Okay, oh, and about Lucky? He's white with a brown patch over his eyes, right? Uh huh, that's Lucky. I hope you find him. Is that a friend of yours? Well, you know. There's a good chance they'll take Ben in, you know. Yeah. Let's start over by, uh, by the station. Maybe someone so lucky there. Okay. Huh? It's Cody. Oh, Ethan. Uh, Cody? What? Oh, um, nothing. I'd like to ask you a few questions, but not now. We're looking for a dog. A dog? I haven't seen any around here. Oh. See you. You bet. Later. No dogs here, I guess. Let's try somewhere else. What's going on? Suddenly, Maurice has this really sour look on his face. About Ben. I wonder if this is the place that started it all, made him change. <laughs> here? Don't you remember? It used to be our secret hideout. They've turned it into a fancy shop, I see. Oh yeah. There was that tree right th uh, out there. Wow, good job, Daniela. Now it's an addict shop named Eon. Have I mentioned what Eon means? Greek? Alright, I'm not sure, so I'm going to mention it again if I have. Eon is a century in Greek. Th that's it. Ben was the one who brought Silo here, and the one who cared for him the most. Our secret hideout. What a blast from the, from the past, wow. Silo was a darling pup, who just... who took to just about everyone. If only there hadn't been a lightning strike during that event. Was Ben taking care of Silo that day? Yeah. I think he's been different ever since that lightning hit. Silo couldn't get away from the hideout and was hit by a lightning during the storm. Ben has forgotten to tend to Silo that day. We've already heard about this if you remember from last chapter. 
He is not here. Who? Shiloh? No, you idiot. Lucky. Where to next? Well, before we look around... Let's look at our flashbacks, because we haven't done that yet. Now that the accident, uh, the intercession never happened... Everything's in place. No, wait. No, I want the unconfirmed ones. So, Lydia was watching co home that day. I'd better put that bicycle team back one of these days. <laughs> And lastly, this is our secret hideout. We all took turns looking after Shiloh. We've learned a couple of things about Shiloh. And this uh, flashback for some reason still stands. So now we're looking for Lucky. Oh, Ethan, Maurice. Hey, Ethan, why does this girl know my name? Huh? Oh, Maurice, what difference does it make? So, what's up with you guys? We're looking for a dog. He has a brown spot around his eyes. Have you seen him? A dog? Nope, haven't seen one. Right, Emily? Um, a dog? No, I can't say I have. Okay, well, thanks anyway. Let's check somewhere else, Maurice. What's up with a weird growling girl, anyway? Never mind that, let's go get going. What, already? See ya! Alright, so I guess he wasn't here. Uh, well, the logical conclusion would be that he is in the park. He is not in the park. I remember him being in the... I guess I'm just wrong. Oh, there he is. Hey, it's Lucky. The dog fits the description, huh? Yep. Poor thing. He's scared. Come on, Lucky. Here, boy. No, I'm sorry for the sound. It's okay, Lucky. Don't worry. Hey, he's pretty cute. I can't see him attacking anybody. So Maurice is a dog lover. Who would have thought it? Well, he was really affected by... Like, surprisingly, this dog's death last time, so... There, there. Come on, Lucky. Let's get out of here. Oof. Alright, so I guess we're going to Kronos. Did you find the dog? Uh-huh. How are things here? Aaron's dead. Dead? Olivia just called the owner. Did anyone call the police? No. Ben said he was going to turn himself in. Ben wouldn't kill anyone. I'm gonna go look for him. Ethan, you look after Lucky. Why don't you give Lucky back to, get to Jacob? He's waiting inside. They already got his contact info, so he can probably go home now. Y yeah, sure. Thanks. I look for Ben too. I've got to look for Ben myself. But first, I shouldn't return Lucky to Jacob. Wait here for a second, Lucky. Lucky? Whoa, take it down, boy. What is this, Lucky? What's over there? Yikes. Are these... Pliers? Are these what Ben used on Aaron? But... Why pliers? These are only used for cutting wires and stuff. Lucky? Jacob? Probably shouldn't let him see this with all this blood. Hey, are those... Too late. Those were over there. Over there? Jacob, do you know something about... Uh, don't... Good job, Emilia. When the... One boy shoved the boy with the glasses? 
he picked those up and so the words are slinking around over there. Thanks for telling me, Jacob. This poor kid definitely shows some nasty stuff. Here, take Lucky and go home. Will you be okay on your own? Uh huh. Bye now. Alright, so the pliers were here. So, let's check our flashbacks. No way. Could the players have been here this far back? I got it. Oh, I thought I had to talk with the girls before I got everything from them. But alright, I guess she does remember from last episode. Hey, the pen's glowing. Can I make it so that all this never happened? I think I'll give it a try. Who knows? I might be able to change the past. No, you do not want to start here. Alright? Let me make something perfectly, perfectly clear. You want to save right here, right now. This is a complicated place. Yes. This is the one point in this game where you might get the game over from full health because it's really fiddly. So let me go back and forth. Yeah, I know that the pen is glowing. Yes, I'm sure I want to open a here hole go. here. Alright, so the pliers are around here. Is. This is it. Mm, there they are, I can't right see here, them. I think. Summon. Here we go. There they are. That's what Jacob said they'd be. So they've been here at, as of precisely this moment. Hang on. Did someone use the pliers to cut your brake lines? But who would do that? They should get rid of the pliers back in now. I've got to be careful. Let me think this through. There's no other likely weapons. I should be okay. 